Welcome, it's Documentation Office Hours, Asia. This is the 28th of July. And today we've got a topic using Docker Compose for tutorials. And then if time allows and my strength and stamina allows, we can consider reviewing open issues and open pull requests. Meg, any other topics you want to add? Okay, I'm, since you're muted, Meg, I'm going to assume not. And if we've got more topics, we can add them. Ashutosh, what would you like? How would you Sorry, like us I to didn't approach? Realize I wasn't there. Okay. Yeah, but I don't go. Okay. Ashutosh, what would, how would you like us to take a look at, at, at the progress? Yes. Uh, uh, it's uh, on the another branch right now. It's uh, the bash file, removing bash file is uh, not merged right now. So we'll have to change branches. Okay, so here's the here's the repository and which branch? Uh, it's uh, rm hyphen uh, dash files. This one? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, let's copy that down. So. Uh, first, do you want me to run it on Unix first or on Windows first? Uh, let's run it on Unix. Stay okay, first Unix first Unix. then. So, and uh, let's make the text bigger here. Is that big enough to be readable by everybody? Yeah. Okay, so here we have it. We are on the main branch. And which branch did you want me to be on? You said you wanted me to be on the one that had RM dash in the name. Okay, there we are. And it has some changes in it. Oh, interesting. Okay. It has some changes in it. And surprisingly enough, it needs some white space removed. Okay, now, all right, so what would you like me to do? Is there a script you'd like run? Uh, no, there's uh, no script now. Uh, we have uh, all the uh, uh, tutorials from there, including Python and Node. I have uh, Python and Node are also added. So Node is the one which, as uh, I I'll say, uh, which actually produce a website and run sent on port 3000. So I've uh, tested the node one already a lot of times. So I think we should run Python one. Oh, so okay. we'll do okay. Docker, 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 Docker compose up uh, with the D and the, and we'll use Python uh, keyword uh, with it. Now Python. Like that? No, 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 no just Python. Just Python. Python, like that. Yes. How will it know where to find that file by just saying Python? Okay, here we go. Uh, using profiles in the Docker Compose file. Oh, I just okay. found out about profiles uh, yesterday. Okay, very good. All right. So it's building the container images. Yes, it should only uh, only build uh, Jenkins controller and the Python agent uh, and another one for running the keygen script that uh, changes the SSH keys. Okay, good. Now, will this require access to port 8080? It will. 
okay so then it's going to it's going to fail eventually because i've already got something running on port 8080 on this computer so we'll let it finish its build process then i'll stop that other container and start this one Making progress. This is good. Okay, and so now it's created a network. And there's the failure saying, hey, I can't connect. So let's kill that. And let's try it again. So here we've got Python quick start and the controller. <laughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Oh, Excuse me. Okay. All right. So now do I just connect here to this computer? Yes. All right. So it just so happens that that computer is already in my bookmarks right here. There it is. Nice. Log in as user admin, password, ad, password admin, or something else. Yes. would help if I could type. Okay, so now I'm logged in and here's a simple demo job already created. So, okay, what do I need to do now, Ashutosh? Okay, we can create a new item I uh, uh, with the pipe. I have uh, the Python simple, uh, uh, simple Python pipe. Uh, uh, by installer app on my repo. Uh, I've already created Jenkins file for it. Uh, I, we have modified the Jenkins file because the previous one used Docker and Docker. Uh -huh. So we can use uh, my uh, link to, to run that. Okay, so, so where would I? Oh, you'll share the link in the chat. Okay, good. All right. And so... This already has the Jenkins file for it. Okay, good. All right, so now how do I do, so do I need to fork your repository? No, no, uh, we'll just uh, create a new item with my link, so it will. I see, okay, so I'm going to create a new job, which is simple Python installer from Ashutosh. Okay, and it's a pipeline, and we're going to do this. And then we want to get the script from SCM from Git. And the repository URL is that. Whoops. And it seems to be satisfied. I like it without the wildcard. Go. And build now. Oh, nice. Okay. First things first, it's on the agent, not on the controller. Very good. So good practice. Okay. And here are all the nice hyperlinks that work in the build log. Thanks to uh, continue to work. Thanks to the recent security fix. And here it is running tests. 
Okay, and it runs Py installer. And this is all happening inside the container image of the agent, correct? And it artifact, artif archived artifacts. There it is. Okay, so there is the add to vals artifact. And it's a binary. Okay. So if I were to download it, It, it will probably be a Linux binary, right? Yes, I think so. Okay, so I can't execute it on my Windows computer. All right, so it looks like with a single command, we executed that and, and it brought up exactly the Python tutorial. And you say the, the reason it does that, it's able to do that, is because there's something called a profile in the compose file? Yes. So if we just run Docker Compose up, uh, it will uh, only uh, launch the default ones with uh, normal controller and agent without any, uh, like, without Python and other things. So it will run three containers. One is for Keygen, and that one is Sidekick and Jenkins controller and default. These are for default when no keyword is added. But when any keyword is added, uh, you can scroll down. Okay. See, that we are using profile Maven for the Maven tutorial, but it depends on the sidekick and Jenkins controller. So whenever we use Maven keyword, it automatically runs the sidekick and and the side, the sidekick service in this case is gen generating the SSH key? Yes. Okay, and the reason it needs to be a sidekick service is because it needs to be written to both the controller and to the agent? Uh, yes, it's using, uh, uh, it's using uh, the volume. Uh, we have mounted the volumes in a way that it uh, gets in all of them. So, and we are using a sidekick because uh, if it's not a Linux system, even then we can run the scripts region. Ah, okay. So, so the the idea there was, and and you put it in in a sidekick rather than putting it right inside the controller because it makes it clear that the controller is independent of that. Because you could have put this inside the controller and then, well, I guess, okay. So sidekick service was what 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 uh, Bruno and Damien recommended? Yes, yes. Bruno is the one who wants to get sidekick. Good. And okay. it's, uh, it also uh, has help check uh, whenever the, uh, the sidekick is completed, then only the controller starts. And that is this depends on. Yes. Very good. Okay. So now if I if I want to stop that, I say Docker Compose down. Yes. Oops. Oh, minus D is detached, isn't it? Uh, we'll oh. only need Docker Compose down. I see. Okay. The network is still in use. And that's because setup SSHD is still running. So the down somehow did not stop the, the SSHD sidekick. But now it did. Or now the Docker Compose down is silent. I've still got the build kit running. So what would you like me to do next? That looks really great. So the, I assume- the, Run it on Windows locally. Okay, I, I assume that the experience for the user will be instead of running these awful horrors like this, they'll do a git clone of this yes. repository and then they'll, they'll just do docker compose up minus D 
or doc compose up minus d python or up, up minus d maven great okay so let's bring up a git bash No, nope, that's not it. Okay, let's get that. Here is the source code. Hmm. And this is for the simple Python app. Oh, and you want to use something different? Uh, we need to clone the... Uh, oh we need we need to call them the Main whole repo. quick start right right i'm yes. sorry you're right i see yes pay attention mark very good let's do that so we need this one and we'll need a different branch Okay, so now Docker. I should probably do that from inside a command prompt window, shouldn't I? Yeah, I Instead of a git the, bash. The, the okay, here's a command prompt window. Whoops. And now Docker PS. First, let's be sure it's running. Oops. Okay, it certainly is not going to run unless I have Docker Desktop running. Yeah, the technology is so flaky. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you mean it? It has to be running in order to do work. Yes, I know yes. that's totally shocking. Just a minute while my Docker starts. We'll see. I am out of date. Mm -hmm. And my startup is really painfully slow. I'm not sure what's going on here. And this is my licensed copy. I expect this to work. Huh. Okay, Ashutosh, well, while this is starting, let's try on a different computer. We'll try it here on a computer with a different name. See if I can get it running in the process. Nope, not even installed here. Oh. And not starting here. So I am not, I'll have to do some fixing while we're waiting for that to start. Let's download Docker CE for Windows. Okay, no, I don't need post install. I need install on. Oh, come on, where's Windows? Docker desktop for Windows.
patiently waiting while it downloads a big chunk of the internet. Mm -hmm. And now get it ready and running. Sorry to show that it is still not starting on my other on my regular computer. I must have done some damage to this, and now I'm going to have to go fix it. Okay, so this one has been downloaded. There we go. Ashutosh, my apologies that it's taking so long to get to the point of showing a running a Windows container. Obviously, my Windows container setup is not as ready to go as I hoped it was. Meg, I assume you don't have a Windows computer. I have one across the room. I think I know how to turn it on. Does it have Docker or desktop installed? No, no. Uh, then you'd have to wait just as long as I'm waiting. Right. It also doesn't have a camera or a microphone on it. Ah, uh, okay. So it actually needs to be replaced, but. Sorry, I'm useless. Oh, no, no, me. Well, me too. And that's okay. <laughs> we're, we're making progress. We have shown already that Ashutosh's work and, and Bruno's work has reached the point where we've got a working demo that runs in Docker Compose without the horrors of running a Docker and Docker, a Docker and Docker, and without requiring a long, complicated set of commands, they just say Docker Compose up. Right. And that's that's a, a great experience. Thanks, Ashutosh. Thank you. How, how big is Docker desktop in Windows? 500 megabytes. So it's large. Now I have fiber, fiber optic cable to my house. So that's not the problem. It's that this Windows desktop that it's installing to is six years old. And it's still a fine computer. It does just great for me. It's just, <laughs> it's mature. <laughs> just keep telling yourself that. That's right. We don't use the O word, Meg, ever. The grandchildren specifically have been instructed to not use the O word. Good, 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 good. So they use ancient instead, bless them. <laughs> Yeah, don't get me started on never teach your children words, right? Yes. It would be yes. much simpler if they didn't understand the concept of a synonym. If, if it makes you feel any better, the Linux system that I'm running on is about twice as old as your Windows box. So. Oh, well, that's good. Okay. It it really needs... I, I have bought the replacement. It's sitting out there with a USB stick in it, and I really need to install it. You know, I'm not sure if that finished its install successfully or not. We'll see. I saw the installation period message. Yeah, there was some worry about that, wasn't there? Well, it's doing the same thing. 
So it may be that I've made some mistake somewhere. Who knows? Let's see, I've got Windows 10, 64-bit, yeah, and it's current. And I've got enough memory on it. And hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I have a container here. All right. So we have, let's do something simple first, like containers. Okay, we're going to do their instructions. Ah, I don't have Git. Okay, so verify our first Docker file. Next. Okay. Build your first image. Failed to resolve, failed to read Docker file. Why would it say that? Oh because it requires that I be in the correct directory. Okay, and then it says an image will appear in the images tab, containers, images. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, still building. and being nagged about JavaScript, this, that, and the other thing. I don't know why you should have to put up with seeing advertisements from my Windows computer. Hang in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, creating. Oh, oh, so it's doing an NPM build of this thing. Wow. Okay. This isn't some simple hello world, huh? <laughs> Okay, now they said when we look at images, we'll see welcome to Docker, which we do. Okay. In the optional settings, specify a port number. All right, so select the image name and how do we run it? Run, there we go. Optional settings, port number 8089. Okay. Run. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it says it's accepting connections on port 3000, but I'll bet if I look at localhost 8089, I'll find there it is, a container. Okay, so we've proven that we work on Windows. 
and here it is running. So now, Ashutosh, let's go to do the real thing that you wanted to do. Okay, so. And for that, we needed to copy, we need to clone the repository. Here we go. Come on, there it is. Get clone. There. Okay. And here, what you think we should do is say Docker compose up minus no, D. No, we'll, we'll need to switch the branches. Oh, oh, right. We've got to change branches, right? Git branch minus A, git checkout minus B, rm underscore bash files minus T, origin slash rm underscore bash files. Okay, and now we're all checked out, ready to go. And you were saying now what I should do is, is now time to do a Docker Compose up? Yes. And which one, Maven, uh, no, Node, can, Python? I can do Node. No, okay, so Node.js. No, is it node? just Node. Okay, just so node. node. Okay, so Node. Ready? Yes. All right, so Docker Compose up. And eventually we should see a contain an image appear in the list of images. Right now there's just welcome to Docker. Okay, and so it's now doing operating system upgrades. Yeah, it does seem to work. Uh, the this third step of the five is was giving error to Bruno. Oh, it was. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, so I may have different git settings than he does in his git configuration files but we can make the the files come down permanently in the correct setting okay no there okay. it is okay this is i think this is the one that was getting error to do all right so these files now how do we change them to, oh, I know how we do that. Okay, so. All right, so here they are, here are the files. And now we need to learn quickly how to set, um, let's see, so set, when get attributes to force force Linux file format on Windows. Configuring git to handle line endings dot get attributes documentation. Here we go. Okay. So this is the thing that we want to use a dot get attributes file. And what it says is okay, so we want to have end of line conversion okay if you simply want to have CRLF, which is not what we want. So we don't want auto core, uh, auto core CRLF equals true. We want to always have this star.sh text EOL equals LF. Okay, so where is that file? Because they're all ending in .sh, right? Yes. Okay. So 
star.sh text equals EO, text EOL equals ROF. And we're we'll save that file. Okay, and then we're gonna do a git add. Okay. <laughs> All right, git commit. Use LF for SH files. All right. Okay, now I suspect I won't have permission to push. I don't, but if I am very tricky, oh no, no win P2. Oh, that's sad. Oh, I don't have GH on this computer. Okay, so. How can I do this? I know how I can do it. Are you willing to be patient with me for just a little bit longer, Ashutosh? Yes, of course. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Let's just um, make der GSOC. Okay, make der. And we need a good repository name. And the repository name that you used was this. Okay. So here we are. Git init minus minus bear. Okay, now I'm going to push to that thing. Sorry for all of this silliness, but this is the way I can make it so it's modifiable for me without having to have permission. Git remote add uh, four. Git at git, oh no, m wait at git dot mark wait dot net colon that git push fork. Oops. So it should show us I've got one in advance. Good, I do. Okay. So we're gonna do a rename of that to X. And then we're gonna do a git clone of git clone from my fork. Okay. Okay. Oh dear, it didn't want to do a checkout, why not? Ah. Well, you type hash files instead of that file. Oops, yeah, because I've spent far too much time doing compute. Huh. Fetch minus minus all. Nope. Huh. How about this? Git push minus minus all fork. Okay, so now git fetch minus minus all. It's 
try cloning it again, just to see if it would give us a better behavior. Okay, get clone. Remote head refers to non-existent ref. Huh. Get checkout minus B main minus T origin slash main. Okay, so we have that branch. Uh, RM underscore bash files. Right? Yes. Okay, now if we look at if, for instance, we were to look at those files, they should now have Unix line conventions on them, not Windows. How would we test that? How about, that didn't help me much. Notepad, will it tell me? I need something that will tell me on a Windows computer if this thing is, how would I check that? Meg, you remember any Windows commands that can tell us that? Well, let's let's try the real test. Docker compose up minus D and you wanted to do node, right? Yes. Okay, let's try it again then. Okay, and since it did the copies, I suspect that the file format changed. Now let's see if I can find a way to tell Windows report line termination with it. No, that doesn't help me. Okay, it's both. You say the build worked, or is it? No, the the step that got error before didn't uh, give the error and stuff. Ah, okay. So we still have some some work to do. Okay, good. Well, so then, report report line termination on Windows. How do I do that? How to find out the line endings on a text file. File, Unix, DOS, file. Oh, okay, well the file command should tell me, good. All right, just a moment. CMD, uh, temp, right? File, Jenkins init.sh. What? That doesn't help me at all. There, I don't have a file utility. I, okay. Huh. No, I truly do not have the file command, so that doesn't help me. So is there some other way, maybe uh, the properties of the file? Details? Advanced? Ashutosh, this is really sad. I've used I've used Windows for a few years. I should be able to tell what there should be a Windows command that will tell me what the line endings of the file are. But I'm not finding it. Okay. So um, let's see. Do I have Emacs on this computer? I don't.
So what does git ls files report with minus v? I think the containers are running. Oh, good. Okay. Well, so all of my attempts to show it failed, but we've got something running now. And so if I look here, here we see the container images. Good. And if we widen these out wide enough. All right. So there's the there are the container images. And I used port 8089. Was that correct? Uh, And there it is. Oh no, that's first container. No, what port did I use for? For I didn't, so it should be on port three thousand, right? I think it should be on port eighty eighty. Oh, oh, right. This is Jen Jenkins. Thank you. Like that. Yes, there it is. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, so the git attributes file seems to be the magic thing. And here we see demo job running. And of course, if we want to create our new item, we do exactly what we did before. And that was new node pipeline, right? Yes. And now we're going to say, okay. And then Ashutosh, I've got to go find the URL to your repository. I shared it on the chat. Ah, okay. Well, I got it here. So here we go again. Pipeline script from SCM. Yet, if you please. Uh, no, that's the wrong hyperlink. That's definitely not the right thing. So I shared it in the chat. Uh, Zoom so chat. I should be able to get it from the chat like this. Put that away. And copy this. And then here we paste it. That's better, isn't it? Okay, so save it. Build now. And what we should see then is git fetch running. And it is running in a Unix environment, even though I am on Windows. Whoa, whoa. Well done, Ashutosh. Okay, it's going to take a while because now it's going to download. Yeah. A big chunk of the internet to do node 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 stuff. Yeah, but this is gonna take the most amount of time. This looks absolutely great. So do you need that? Maybe what we should do for your benefit, Ashutosh, is put the that command that I used because that repository I did was entirely private. Uh yes, it's yes, sitting yes. on my own server. So if we just type this dot get attributes. There it is, asterisk dot sh space tech space eol equals lf. If you do that in your in your repository or in the branch that you and Bruno are working on, um, that will be enough to let it work. Thank you, on Windows. Thank you. Now I apologize. I'm now officially tired. <laughs> <laughs> So I propose that we call an end to today's session and I will, oh, hey, look, it's it's making progress. And the ad will show uh, a link uh, to the localhost 3000 to see if the React website is running. Yeah, but but we and won't then... get that. And yeah, well, that's that's where it will eventually get after it finishes all this download and build process, right? Yes, yes. Okay, well, so maybe we wait for a little longer and I don't go take my, my sleeping time yet. 
<laughs> oh, it's uh, yeah, I forgot. It's really late there. I uh, uh, no no. Remember, you are you are you are a university student. Therefore, the 10 p.m. time is not late for you at all. But I was up at 5 a.m. this morning to start my business meetings at six, and so it's been a long day. Okay, so here we are. We reached it, and it says go to localhost port 3000. Come on. There it is. Look at that. Ashutosh, congratulations. Very well done. Thank you. All right. So, so that, that line will be in the recording. Uh, let me put it into the... What's this going on? Okay, let me put it into the meeting notes as well, just in case that's helpful for you. And where are the meeting? Where is that notepad file? No. Ah, oh, yes, here it is. Okay, this. And now if I go to the meeting notes, they are right where? Right here. Yes, here they are. Okay. Preparatory .git attributes file like that. And let's change this text to be something that is obviously computer font like that. All right. Ashutosh, thank you very much. Thank you to you. Nice work, Ashutosh. Yes. All right, recording will Thanks, be available Mike. probably in 24 hours. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Talk to you next week. See you next week.